Bye bye Bailey. See you later. What I have to go and pick up the stuff, armory, and uh, join petrol here. Yeah. Nightingale petrol later. First, I'll go back to my village. I'll go see Teresa and come. Hi there, Teresa. How are you doing? Oh, that's pretty what you have done. Hey there, Uncle. I'm glad to see you. Too. Tell me something about. I've got some goods here whose owners might miss them. All right. Let's see what we can do about that. What can I sell? Maybe this? Then what else? Let's bargain. Let's have a word about the price. All right. Can I increase a little bit more? No, four point point five it is. Okay, make an offer. Since it's you, that's better. Drop it a bit more, and we'll call it a deal. Ah. Uh, okay. Fourteen it is. Maybe this. I knew we'd come to an arrangement. Okay, that's it. Fine. The reason why I, have, I had come here is I have to pick up more stuff, right? And I would have got overloaded. First of all, my inventory is full. Kind of full. Am I hungry? I'm not. Let's go back to that same place. Uh, where can I fast travel nearby? This looks near or this looks near? Of course, this looks neat. He reached already. Why is moving so slow? Compact arena. Wow. Oh, there was a church there. I feel quite hungry. Okay, you do. Let's eat then. 
some apples or let's eat some cheese that's fine <laughs> covered nest nice there's some way there okay i can open this and open it oh yeah somewhere here oh you can save and sleep here i'm not sleepy yet maybe after picking up my armor nice doggy here did someone send you here for something yeah i was told to pick up a kit here name henry henry and in fealty too sir radzik kobola mm yes i've got you well come on in then make yourself at home henry if my memory serves me you're entitled to a helmet a gambeson and a club that's all oh i could have a kiss and a hug it. as well i mean equipment it's quite enough for controlling the town i just need town. equipment you're there to stop trouble hugs. not starve it I think I could have done it without uh, selling my stuff but maybe I thought I'll get something more Okay, I'll have better sleep. Take some rest and we'll leave. Maybe for 2 hours. Oh wait. I had to go just a minute. Try in Okay, in between eleven, so I'll sleep for a longer time. It's already dark there. Oh, I I am having okay. Ten hours, something more, little more, little more, little more. Maybe ten ten hours of sleep. Yeah. and it's it is saved right that's the good part of it oh that's a bright morning there get it now i'll have to go to okay i'll fast travel is it outside the compound maybe i can go from there I'll have to get something to eat. I'm starting okay. to get hungry. And he gets hungry very soon. Maybe some carrots. Some cheese again. This one block of cheese. That's fine with you, Henry. That's the church. Hi. Look at it. It is somewhat like exactly how you find churches in Goa. Can I go in? Like I'm tempted. We take refuge, O oh Blessed Virgin. Disdain not our supplication. Wow. Yeah, I'm not talk. I'll not talk to the priest right now. But yeah, it's really good. See later. Oh, hi there. You're the one. I guess so. 
God be with you. God be with you. How's life? How does life in Ratai suit you? It'd be fine if we didn't have to sleep in hovels and beg for alms. And the bailiff is always on our backs. Bastard. But what can we do? We've got nowhere else to go. Did you find out what actually happened? What do I know? The lords are at each other's throats, but it's us that has to suffer for it, same as always. I reckon they was after the silver mines, wasn't they? Farewell. But I thought it would... Oh, he's not the guy. Okay, maybe later. It's not time up yet. Oh, sorry. At 11. Let's try that. Choose the same location. And Hendy is again hungry. My respects to you. I think it's this guy. He came just now. How does life in Ratai suit you? Them Ratai folk would rather drive us out of here. They won't give us no work and they won't let us beg. So what are we supposed to do? It's fucking war. Did you find out what actually happened? They say Sigismund is at war with the Czech lords and abducted the king. And our lord sides with Wenceslas. Good luck to you. I could do with a bite to eat. What the guy? Oh yeah, you are the Here right finger. My name is Henry. We're supposed to go on patrol together? You're too early. We'll meet in the afternoon down by the church. All right. I'm too early. What's the time now? Okay, there's some. Uh huh. Okay, maybe to well. I was too early for it. How about now? You report for duty dressed like that. I've got nothing better oh, to do. Oh yeah, I had pick. You look more frightening with a pitchfork. Okay. Go and get kitted out first. Yeah, sure. I just picked up. I'll go. Nah, nah, nah. I don't Fine. want to manage like this. Some. I just forgot to equip what I had got. Uh, yeah. Light padded armor. Uh, no. I had got helmet, right? Maybe this. Full pants are better. And see, of course, shoes. I was walking all this while bare feet. Wow. This is better. He looks handsome now. And weapon, I got this right. So I'll equip that and this maybe. Shield is must. Hey, how about now, I think? I see you're kitted out. Yes, I. Ready do. to get going. I'm Nightingale. Yeah, I know. Aren't you that lad the mill wench brought here on a cart? Yeah. Yes, it's me. Teresa. Yes, she rescued me. She turned up with Captain Robot and his knights. All honour to the girl. She has bigger balls than most men. Tell me, how did you pay her back? Well, I, um... I thanked her. That's not much, is it? You should go and see her when you get a chance. Of so course. how did you end up in the service of the bailiff? I wanted to enter the service of Saradzik, but he sent me here to learn. And learn you will. You're lucky, lad. Sir Radzig must like you. Most lords would have just sent you on your way. Come with me, Henry. 
We'll patrol the town and then check on the taverns to make sure they lock up in the evening. I'm ready. Yeah, let's go, let's go patrol. Don't forget, I'm supposed to try you out and, with the help of God, teach you something. So I expect you to deal with any misconduct yourself. I'll make sure you don't do anything too stupid. Let's go. Again, Henry is hungry. Matthews. Yeah, I, I saw that church. It's beautiful. It serves not only as the house of God, but as the crypt of the Lords of Lipa, our masters. The gravedigger lives right round the corner. The priest, too. Our parish priest. Ah, uh, a man shouldn't speak ill about servants of the Lord. I wouldn't beg, good neighbors. But I would use many beggars. This is our rat house. Pretty big, eh? Yeah. The bailiff and his hands live there, and our maestro proto notarius, the scribe. And the jailhouse. You don't want to see the inside, not even uh, as a no. guard. Naturally, okay. we have an execution or two, but he doesn't live in town. Yeah, hi. Proper, as I'm yeah sure I know, you know him very well. He lives by Gallows Hill, the other side of the creek. <laughs> I know that. This pillory was brand new in autumn, and two people have already been rotting on it. Uh -oh. The swordsmith lives here. Then you'll need a rake. We are having a town too. What the hell is going on here now? If you go and go check it out, church, Henry. Go back to your people. I don't want you here. Is that manure pile not big enough for you? Wrong here. What are you two screeching about? Yeah. Stop making such a ruckus. About time you turned up. This filthy beggar thinks. My name is Jane. No one cares what your name is. This filthy beggar thinks she can come and stink in front of my shop. I want you to get rid of her. How is she bothering you? Better to ask that. What's question. the problem here? This is my shop, and I won't have beggars sitting on my doorstep. Let her go and squat in the square. She won't be in anyone's way there, and there's plenty of folk to beg from. Must yeah, you sit here, yeah. of all places? Yes, I do. Why? Why? Folk drive me away wherever I sit. I can't keep walking all day and night. Maybe I can tell her to. Yeah, well, she can't go anywhere. I think else, you ought right? to leave the poor woman be. What she'll have to, you know. <laughs> Why should I? Because I told Yeah. Are you sure everything in... Maybe this? Are you sure everything in your business is in order, Master Amra? What are you trying to say? Just checking whether you're what aware of the town be? ordinance saying the furnace of the forge must be at least two L's away from the nearest wooden building? Of course I know. So I can go to the rat house for the measure and check it? You know fire hazards are taken very seriously here. No need. Smart I don't Henry. want to put you to any trouble. Well, you can save me a lot of trouble by ending this little disagreement here reasonably. Yeah. All right. I'll let here you can stay. be here. Oh, well, didn't hurt, did it? Thank you. Thank you a hundredfold. You're welcome. Just stay clear of trouble in future, understood? Of course. Thank you. Yay. Repetition. That wasn't was bad. Thank You'll you. be in that fool's bad books for a while. Uh -uh. Your old neighbors are living here now. It's a bit of a shithole. Even so, you should be thankful to Zahanush. If the town burghers got their way, your folk wouldn't be let anywhere near the town. And now our people aren't too happy with him. Some fools are even calling for Zahanush to finally hand the fiefdom over to the young lord, Zahans Capon. Why Sir Hans' that father, calling old Sir Yeshke, may God rest his soul, kept it till he was an old man. Then he retired from it, first to Moravia, then to eternity. 
So Hanush is managing the fiefdom until Sir Hans comes of age. They're related by blood somehow, the same great-great-grandfather or some such. The time's coming soon enough when the estates have to be handed over. These affairs often end in conflict. I hope we have nothing like that here. Hey there, doggy. Henry is hungry. Discover a trader. Maybe later I can go there. I don't have lots of stuff to sell. But here it is. This square here, it looks much better during the markets. Then it's filled to bursting with folk from all around. We've also got the baker's shop here, and that mad merchant Wolfram Prude. Prude has a pretty daughter, but he keeps her on a short reign, which the young bucks are none too happy about. I heard he even keeps the poor lass locked up at home all day. Oh my god, that's sad. Look here. See that filthy beggar? By Christ, I'll show the bastard. Comfortable, are we? Arms, please, sir. Who do you take me for? Are you stupid or just insolent? Well, what's the matter? Stupid, then. There's no begging allowed here, so pick up your stinking arse and haul it somewhere else. Who am I bothering here? Me. Us. Everyone. If Sir Hanu saw you here, he'd take a whip to you. All right, all right, I'm going. Damn beggars. You offer them a helping hand, and they want the whole arm. It's not like the rules aren't clear. Beggars belong at the church. There's one alehouse here on the market square, the trader's tavern. The other's up by the gate. We'll be going there later. Okay. You allowed Jane, though, to sit there. But uh, the beggars should go to the church. Let's move along to the inner bailey. Okay. Here's the forge. The blacksmith has some trouble and he's not working at the moment, but his apprentice is standing in for him tolerably. I hear you're a blacksmith's apprentice too. Yes. You lot could help if needed, wouldn't you? Us? What do you mean? You and your master, or your father, whoever taught you. They... What is it, lad? My father was the master blacksmith. He was killed in Scullets. Ah, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Thank you. So am I. My papa died not long ago. Of course, it was old age got him. That's not the same, but I know a little how you feel. Rate fiefdom is pretty big. Naturally, it starts here by the town and continues along the Sassau River all the way to Kohelnitz. Then there's Gallows Hill, lots of farmhouses scattered around. Neuhof, Merhoyed. Master Smill is in charge of Sir Hanush's stables. He's by far his best vassal. It's all a bit complicated for a newcomer, I suppose. This lord here, that lord there, this exemption here, that right there. Yes. Exemptions from exemptions, rights to half of something, so on. Yeah. It'll take you a year to make head or tail of it. A year. 
This tower was only half the size when I was a young lad. Sir Hanush had it extended and made into an armory. This is a stable. There are no horses here. I wouldn't beg, good neighbors, but I'm reduced to this. I'm from Skelitz, and well, you know. God be with That's you. That's sad, like. Well enough, Nightingale. It's quiet today. Good. Where's Moimir anyway? Isn't he supposed to be here with you? Ah, uh, yes. He hasn't turned up yet. Oh, I see. Now, where might he have got to then? I don't know. You don't know, eh? Let me tell you something. When the bailiff finds out Moimir's slacking off, he'll be in serious shit. And being a friend of his, you wouldn't want that, would you? No. I'll have to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. the bailiff out of it, right? Um, yes, I suppose so. So where is he? In the tavern. He was thirsty, so he... Went for an ale. We know how that goes. Come on, Henry. Let's go and find that idler, and you'd better talk some sense into it. What the fuck are you doing here when you're supposed to be on the gate? Yeah. Move your Bring carcass you. and don't guard the gate! Uh, I... Not a word! Get moving! You're lucky it was me found out, not the bailiff! Oh, God forbid, Captain Bernard! Out! Yes, what are you eating there? Come and sit with me, Henry. Let's have a drink. Let's have a drink. I'm already hungry. Though. Oh, I got confused with... Oh, you all look the same, I'm sorry. I think girl. Let's have a drink. That fool got me all worked up. So, can we be patrolling? Ah, uh, no. First day of, of work, let's drink. Me as well, the lazy bastard. My words exactly. And just when we need every pair of eyes. You never know when the Cumans might creep up on us. But that's enough about that. Let's not let it spoil our day. Listen, since we're sitting here anyway, how about a little game? I'm up for it. Sounds good, yeah. Why not? I can't wait to see how you throw. Okay. Well, what is this game about? Help, please. Let's go for it. Let's try. This will be the one. Got it. My Let's God. See. That's all. Good luck tonight. 
left behind. I think I'm unique, maybe. Uh. Yeah, once. Better, right? I need only 200 points more in yeah. hmm. score this time. Yeah. I think 700, 800. Oh my god. God's holy hat. Good. Just 200 more. And yeah. That is fine. Just want one fifty, like one five uh, of five. I'll take a chance. Five or one fifty, please, 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 please. Oh no! Damn, this is fun. Clear with the key. Let's. I know once one is hundred and uh, five is. Next time, no chance. Five or one, please. I want only one. Still take a chance. Please be one or five. I won. Pass. Good game. You did. Woo it was quick and fun. Just one more thing and we're done for the night. Ringing the end of the day and closing the taverns. Isn't it still a bit early? I didn't take part in turning. I don't know how it was in Scarlet, but here in Rate we close up at this hour. Except, of course, during fairs and big festivals. Then we don't close at but all. But is it ringing here? Should I go and ring the bell? If you wouldn't mind, the bell is hanging outside the rat house. Ring three times, then go to the trader's tavern by the market square and make sure the innkeeper closes up. I'll do that. Before I forget, it's forbidden to walk in Rate at night without a torch. Here, take this I have, one. I had a torch.
Henry was hungry in you know, the other time. Had something. Apples. Lot hungry. Apples won't right now. An apple. Where is the bell? Look out! In the bell. Market. Somewhere here. And the canon of St. Wenceslas in Olomouc was so drunk, <laughs> he dragged the pig to the market square, saddled it up, <laughs> and rode it out of the town gate. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 we can, we can see, we can see that this wasn't going to end well. So, Sir Peter and I rode off to look for the good canon on his pig. We <laughs> <laughs> to find him. <laughs> we tracked the filthy beast down to a sty beyond Cronau. I mean... The beast with a tonsier on its head. <laughs> <laughs> we never found the real pig, but the reverend was sound asleep in the pigsty. <laughs> Birds of a feather stick together. It seems the same goes for pigs and planets. <laughs> I toast, gentlemen, to pigs and planets. God <laughs> save them bacon. <laughs> Sir Hans, forgive my intrusion, but I need... Oh, but what? You uh, want to join us? Want to... Buyers around! <laughs> I'm afraid we don't drink with peasants. You're not in your village now, boy. No, sir. <laughs> Curfew's been rung. The alehouse is closing. <laughs> Nothing closes while I'm sitting here. If that's all, you're dismissed. Are you out of your mind, lad? You can't cross his lordship. He's got a temper like a bear with gut egg. If I was Fair you... Okay. I get lost before he shows it. The bailiff instructed me to close the tavern at the proper hour. Yeah. He doesn't want anyone disturbing the peace after curfew. The bailiff? The bailiff can kiss my ass. I trust you haven't forgotten who's the rightful lord of Ratte. No, it's Sir Hannes. Oh, is he here? What is he? He's hiding under the table, maybe. <laughs> no, then what he wants isn't worth a fart in a bathhouse. And besides, he's only in charge till I grow up. <laughs> Which clearly hasn't happened yet. Enough! You can't talk to me like that. I'm a nobleman. Come now, sirs. You're not going to fight here, are you? We most definitely are. This yokel needs to be taught his place. Wrong, dude. And fight. Give that bastard something to remember you by. Bring it on your grave. Show him what for. Show him your for. Show him Crucifix! What in the name of Christ is happening here? Hell! 
Answer me, damn you! This peasant insulted me. I had to teach him a lesson. By rolling around in the mud like a hog? That's a fine example of noble conduct. Sir Hannes, the bailiff ordered me to... Silence! You shut your mouth and thank your lucky stars that you are Radzig's ward. Have you gone out of your mind? Raising your hand to a nobleman? And you, Hans, how many times have I told you that drinking with your subjects might be good for their morale, but it's bad for your honor? <sighs> you spend all your days drinking and chasing wenches, which wouldn't matter if you paid any attention at all to your duties. And now we see what that leads to. Tomorrow, you will go with me to a hearing. Some landowners have asked me to settle a dispute. It'll be an excellent lesson for you. I had planned to go hunting, but if you think listening to the pointless gripes of a bunch of old fools will benefit me, so be it. Oh, hunting? Well then, Your Grace, I'll tell you what. You can go hunting. Really? Oh, naturally. Who am I to deprive the young Lord Capon of his sport? And you can take Henry here as your What pet. the hell? I knew <laughs> it. <laughs> Absolutely not. You'll do as I've commanded. It's time you learned how to lead people, and not just in drinking and brawling. Now get out of my sight. I'm so sorry. I have yeah. responsibilities of the bailiff. Yeah, not anymore. <laughs> Your responsibilities now are the Lord Capon. It's time uh, you learned how to behave in the presence of nobility. Let's go. Tell the kitchen I'm hungry. It's been a long journey. I have to go on. Him going alone is better.